Well, let's see what Steve Arts 89. Are the Try Guys done? Um, now, I used to watch the Try Guys. I, I don't know how I got into the Try Guys. I, um, I think I was just looking up um, racism and sexism and homophobia and stuff, and, and I got one of their videos about um, like stupid things straight people say to gay people, something like that. And it was fairly good. It was Eugene, basically, um, before he was out. And I kind of found him fascinating. And, I don't know, I found the shows interesting. I did watch the videos. They came up on YouTube all the time for a while. Um, at some point, I, I ducked out. I don't know. I realized I wasn't watching them anymore. And they came to Australia for some um, um, online YouTuber or, or um, influencer event or something. And I nearly went to meet them, but I didn't do it. I'm like, no, they're, 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 they're interesting, but I'm not... I'm, I, I fan fanning for like a YouTube sort of channel people. I did, no, I couldn't do it, so I didn't go. But um, I've always sort of found them interesting. I've kind of kept a, a little bit of an eye on them and watched a couple of videos here and there, but I haven't been watching them like I used to. Apparently they've got their own show now or something, and they've had a little bit of a controversy. Basically Ned, who I didn't like because I thought he was boring. I mean, Eugene was the um, <laughs> the overachieving... Um, over the top, um, flamboyant gay one, although he wasn't really camp or anything, but he was just like his hair. I mean, let's not talk about Eugene's hair. We could do a whole video on his hair. Um, and then there was the nerdy little one, I've forgotten his name, who got the hair transplant. And then there was the one with the big mouth, um, the tall one. And then there was just the married one. That's all he was, he was just the married one. He would just go on and on about his wife, and then he had a kid, and it was kind of sweet, but it was boring. Um, well, he went and had an affair, apparently, on his wife. He apparently cheated with someone else on the cr production ch crew, who was also married or had a fiancé, and it was pretty messy. Um, now, they, this, well, apparently they were alerted to this um, a while ago, and they spoke to lawyers, because it's a HR problem, it's, it's, a, it's a problem with the brand, all these issues, and they actually got Ned to bow out, basically. And they were removing him from videos that were in um, production and so forth. And re they're writing him out, basically. And they basically cancelled him from the show because they didn't want him there, couldn't keep him there, and so forth. And it's kind of dramatic, but it did leak. So leaked a little while ago, and they just made an announcement yesterday, which was apparently the top trending video on YouTube, so I probably should have made this video yesterday, so it might have actually got some views, um, but I don't follow what's trending and try and, you know, I, I just talk about what interests me in that, and I do it for fun. Um, but yeah, they made a video, a very serious video, Eugene looks angry, um, because this is damaging their brand, although when you think of the Try Guys, now there's three of them, they could kind of, they can spin that, they could work that, you know. Um, but yeah, it's, 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 it's going to hurt their brand, it's going to hurt their show, it's going to hurt their endorsements, it's going to hurt a lot of stuff. Apparently they've made some um, um, marketing things where like promoting stuff or whatever that were already filmed that Ned is going to be in and they're contractually obligated to release them and they can't change them because they're already made and that. So it's a bit complicated, but they did a video basically saying this is what happened, this is what we're doing, we're editing him out, we are removing him, we are scripting things around his absence and we are moving on and we are still going to do our show and be the Try Guys. And there's no reason why they can't do it. Like I said, he was the most boring um, and he had the most commitment with the wife and children so I felt like he was he was never as, as involved or committed to the stuff as the other people and that. So I don't see a problem with him leaving and just having those three guys continue on and maybe include a friend that they already have. They've had a few people on the side come in to shows here and there. They could probably get a fourth guy if they need a fourth guy, but I think they can keep to the core three and they're still the try guys, there's three of them. That kind of... I, I'm sure they can spin it. But um, maybe not. Maybe this is the end of them. Maybe people just tune out because... It's broken, you know, the group of friends, they just cancelled their friend um, for, for corporate reasons and HR reasons and like, what does that do for, oh, we're just a bunch of friends trying stuff. Well, you know, I'm not sure if they're going to survive this or not. I think they can spin it. I mean, if people are on their side because the other guy cheated, he, 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 he you know, endangered their whole careers and everything, because they, they were with BuzzFeed, they left BuzzFeed, they set up their own company and their own channel and everything, which is very hard, and, but they did that, and 
they're doing really well and now he's jeopardized all of that you know it really depends if people go on their side or his side the guy who got cancelled or the guys who got basically cheated on so i'm not sure how it's going to go but we we could we could may be seeing the end of the try guys right now or they this may be the rebirth you know so i don't know but i just i had to comment on it i thought it was interesting i thought the video was interesting i meant to do a video on it but um so many things I want to talk about, and you can only do so many videos a day before it gets too much. So, um, sometimes I leave stuff off, sometimes stuff just never gets done, or I, I've got like 50 videos that have been uploaded that I haven't actually uploaded, they're, they're still waiting to actually be published. Um, some aren't news or date related, so I can put them up when I'm having a slow day, others, they just end up not going up. So it's a bit tricky. But um, I'm going to go, feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you think. Do you think the Try Guys will survive? We'll see.